Hello and welcome back. This is Hello Debbie and this is episode 40 of Firewolf 21.18 Let's Play. And today we're down here in the industrial contraptions area. We're going to do some things. <laughs> well, I think specific. Uh, so let's have at it. Uh, let me show you what I got planned. Uh, I got lots of stuff going on here. The first thing I want to do is get this upgrade, the freezing upgrade, so that while I'm mining, I can continue on through water and lava and not be restricted. <laughs> so I can continue mining instead of being stuck. Uh, so that's what I want to do. I want to get my crafting table to what I had. I'm missing Oh, I gotta have four redstone. I gotcha. Now we can do thing and freezing. So over here, add that to the mining gadget, and I think that's uh, pretty much all I want. Um, I've been mining with this at two million, and my pockets get full before I. Uh, run out of energy now. So I'm kind of happy with the way that maybe if I get some uh, an upgraded backpack or something uh, or some way to carry around more stuff. Of course I could use those uh, immersive engineering immersive engineering crates. I think they work. We could use those and that would increase our sort of carrying capacity. Um, so that's a, a thought too. We could also uh, upgrade, upgrade the backpack point. Uh, this one. Um, yeah, we should be able to do this now. Just need two yellow dye. 11 gold and a couple of chests. And we could upgrade that. So that would be pretty cool. Awesome. So I got a lot of ours stuff planned. This guy, I'm gonna do, um, since, since we have the mining gadget and it has its own void thing. I'm going to get rid of the jar of voiding. Um, I would like the ring of lesser discount, but I'm kind of like, do I want to get rid of my band of mana? I don't think that uh, the belt uses mana, but I'm not 100% certain about that. I guess I could put this away and see, and then have both. Uh, but that's uh, more stuff. So uh, let's kind of do what I had planned already. We got tons of stuff to do. Is it night outside? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So what I want to do first is to make a warp scroll and kind of test it out. And also I have a thing to make a glyph. I wasn't planning on doing it, but accidentally I was making some of the source gems and I thought I had cleared the pedestals. 
it's sorted. Uh, and I was trying to make the source gem, but when I came out, it was turned into a water essence. Uh, so I figured I could go ahead and make the glyph to use that up. I just picked one, the first one I found that um, used the water glyph. Or, yeah, the water essence. So where is it? I think. Uh, not really seeing it in the book. Let's look for water. There we go. Find your water. So get these guys over here. Okay. Point. Oh yeah. And now all the other stuff is out here too. But I want to try this uh, warp scroll, and that's just done in a crafting grid. So just and zoink. Awesome. Uh, now I want to test that out, but in a minute, folks. Move that. Also, we can remove the water. It's starting to look a lot nicer. And we want the enchanter sword. Now, this is done at the enchanting apparatus uh, using five pedestals. I think. Yeah, we have five there. Um, Oh, this one. We need these guys. Point, 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 and point, and oh yeah. <laughs> and this sword can be inscribed with a spell, so it's gonna be pretty awesome. Yes. Okay, well, let's continue making. And I think this next one uh, is the Enchanter Shield. And it takes, it only takes four. So let's do that. Get the shield. Now, the advantage to having a shield. Uh, this shield is that it will repair itself with your mana so it's not going to be like it it's not going to break <laughs> well i guess unless you just really damage it a whole lot in battle and this guy that is the wand and that's going to take uh, all H, so we need to gather these guys back up. Boink, boink, and boink. And then back you go. Right. Just spread this stuff around. Two essence and a log in the middle. Excellent. Oh, yeah. So, what this is going to do is uh, it's going to help us to more than 10 spells because uh, you're limited. In the spell book to 10 spells uh, but <laughs> as you can see it's it's easy to fill those up uh, i think i might have yeah there's one empty there's one empty <laughs> so i can use um the sword for something that i would use more like an attack on uh, 
which is what I was planning on doing. I guess you take it and put it in your hand and click it in here. No. Um, e, C, no, um, yes, if I've never done this before, uh, so maybe we need to put the spell on a spell parchment. I happen to have one somewhere. A spell parchment. Um, so... Ah, I might need to reference the book for this because it uh, it kind of gives you uh, certain things that you can and can't do with this uh, with the sword. So yeah, here it is. I already have it on there. It applies a touch spell before damaging an entity, so it has to be touch. Uh, additionally, all spells gain one additional Amplify Augment on the last effect in the spell. So we get a free Augment and it does touch. Uh, so we could really just do a spell that has like a uh, arm in it and then it would add the touch before and the amplify after. So that's what my understanding uh, it says apply a spell at the scribes table. So I'm guessing that do this. No, it won't let me do a spell parchment. What about the casting one? That's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Scribes table and at the scribes table. Um all right, let's look at it. Um, I don't think we would use a flip. Maybe if we just had a blank parchment. Um, maybe. Well, we can try it because it's only a piece of paper and some uh, beige fibers. Beige blue. Hello, Kitty. And, oh, there's my last paper. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> if this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, seems like I'm following what the book says. Okay. Or maybe I do this and then. Oh, you can limit to those. Nice. Okay. Um, that's not working. Maybe if I do. Uh, 
I'm not sure. Can't be inscribed with a spell at the scribes table. Wait, let's sleep first, and then we'll look. What a conundrum. Um, okay. Let's control and hold it. We have the scribes tape. Like, I don't understand. If I do shift, like I just right click with the, oh, this is how I choose the glyph. Do I push C or V? Uh, maybe there's some sort of pet key, um, click key binds, category, arts. Uh, no, it's only for, um, the spell book. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do then. At the scribes table, it says it can be inscribed with a spell at the scribes table. Uh, but I don't use the table to make a spell, I use my book to make the spell. Maybe I have to put the spell in the book and take it out of the book? Um, like, what did I have that was empty? So, I want something. I don't know if I'm supposed to put this. So, what I would want is just for testing purposes to put arm. So let's just do a simple form. Create. And then oh man. It won't let me put <laughs> Oh. Okay, I don't know. Maybe if I have it on there and then go to the spell book, it doesn't seem like. So maybe if I have spell parchment on there, then, oh, it just swaps it out. Let's see. How do you do this? Okay, I guess um, this, I don't know how to do this. Uh, I will have to, I guess, um, watch a video or something to find out how to do that. Uh, the Enchanter Shield, though, we should just be able to put that in and use it. So, uh, it looks like you could upgrade it with something. Uh, an eternal Stella. I don't know what that is for, but it's from Forbidden and Arcanus. So, yeah. Now we have a cool shield, a cool mage magic shield to, you know, uh, do battle with. And I wonder if it can be enchanted. Uh, another thing I want to try, see uh, if we can get this to work, is this um, warp scroll. 
here. Um, let me come over here. It says if you use while sneaking, you can set a location. So uh, sneak and then right click. Record your location to your warp scroll. Okay, so let's just um, head off here. Oh, to test a little point and see if we use it this works um it returns us home it consumes the item i don't know this is new to me <laughs> i'm just curious we don't have to go far i guess uh, All right, this should be good enough. We're just going to test to see. All right. Oh, it did consume it. Oh, that's, that's pretty expensive. It's like eight lapis, and you got to turn four of them into gems. So, oh, well, now you know. Um, I guess if you had lots of lapis lying around, you could make uh, several of those and carry them around with you and use them just as a, I, I don't know, of course you'd have to bind them all once. Use them. Oh, look at this. We uh, got these things. Expand our storage. I still haven't worked on the smithy or the chicken coop. So that's a way. All right. How much time? I got like ten minutes. I. How do you inscribe a spell? Why a spell that describes evil? Um, okay, let's look at chicken operation chains. Um, the describes evil. Yeah, wait, I know how to do the glyphs. Selected glyph. You may also write a specific spell to spell parchment or enchanter's items. To do this, oh, okay. To do this, place a spell parchment on the table, then with your spell book in hand, change your spell book to your desired spell as if you were going to cast it, and use a book on the table while sneaking, your item will now contain that spell. <gasps> okay, uh, so I was right, it was going to use the spell book somehow. So if we put our spell parchment there, and we got the harm spell in there. We use it while sneaking. Set the spell. Now I wonder how we get that on there. Uh, uh, sneak. Uh, I don't. How do you get it back? Oh, uh, maybe I just take it out. Because it says harm. Maybe I just apply it. No. Okay, so maybe I put it here. And then. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's the shield is interfering. Hmm. 
maybe I have to do it this way. I don't know. Oh my goodness. This is okay. So I got the spell onto the spell parchment. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to our magical equipment and look at the enchanter sword. Additionally, all spells gain one additional input. Apply a spell at the scribe's table. It doesn't say how to do that. Sneak to view. Okay, let's do this. Oh no. Can't sleep. I would really like to get this figured out. <laughs> So I know how to put it onto the scroll. Now I just don't know how to get it off of the scroll. Uh, maybe this. Try this. I guess that I don't know. How do you scribe the spell onto the sword? There's gotta be something I'm missing. Apply a spell at the scribe's table. So, ah, I think that worked. Yes. Okay. So you have to put the spell parchment. Uh, you put the spell parchment in your hand, and then you shift click onto while well, you sneak. Click, shift click onto it. So now we got the harm in there. So we can get rid of our Osmium sword and have an Enchanter sword. <laughs> um, and then we can have like a different uh, spell. I wonder if I can reuse this spell parchment or if it's stuck with the harm one. Uh, Let's see, uh, the wand has a different effect here. So let's look at, at it. Enchanter, the casting. Uh, wands accept only a single spell and are inscribed using the scribe's table. The wand always starts with projectile accelerate and must be inscribed with a spell that does not have another method. This allows you to cast spells beyond the 10 spell cap. If you want a wand that casts break, inscribe the wand with just break and your result will be a wand with projectile, accelerate, break. Okay, so we get projectile and accelerate. Um, So let's get, uh, clear this, clear harm, and we're going to be looking at projectile. We want something, I want a damaging spell. Um, or maybe we could even use it to summon our wolves. That's a thought. We can summon the wolves. 
Seven walls. Then top. I don't know. I could have this on my. Maybe I'll do. Um. Ignite. Uh, sensitive. So we don't want to burn blocks or the ground. And look back. Amplify. And we'll call this burning dog back. Great. Okay, so now if we sheet, sneak, click, all oh, there we go, and then hit this effects and augments only. Okay, so did I do wrong? Effects and augments only. Effects and I thought that's what I did. I I only have effects and augments. I don't have a form uh, because it's going to do projectile accelerate. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Uh, Maybe because I don't have Accelerate, we need to learn Accelerate. Uh, ignite, Sensitive, Knockback, and Okay, uh, well, let's, let's see what is, um, Clock, a sugar, and a powered rail. Um, yeah, we can do that. I think we got some gold and some. Uh, oh, that would take quite a bit of gold, I guess. Four gold for the clock. I think it's six for a powered rail. We're gonna need redstone for that. I think a redstone for that. Stick. Stick. A power rail. Yeah, that's right. And a claw. Um, one of those, though. Um, what's it? Accelerate a uh, bit of sugar. Okay, I can do that. Um. A bit of sugar. That we just need to take and place on our scribes table. I, I don't know if this is what the deal is, but I'm going to try it first. See if that helps. Because I think I was doing it correctly. Awesome. Accelerate. Now. Let's try this again. Uh, 
talent spell also ones except effects and augments only. Uh, maybe it's too complicated or something. Maybe I should just do good night. So, earning a point, eight, eight. Okay, let's try just, just the burning and the sensitive. Maybe it just needs uh, simple. And Maybe we'll try just doing the burning. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so we, it, we're like a little bit over the time. So let's go ahead and sleep. And I will try and uh, figure this out, how to get this spell onto the wand, so it's not letting me do it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we got uh, we got the sword figured out, and now anytime we smack something, it should uh, also damage the spell. So uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!